I'm Libby Watson Brown, and I'm the director of my own architectural practice, and I have been for nearly 20 years now. My experience of studying architecture was as though my life had just started. You know, like I wasn't one of those people who went off and wanted to try lots of things. I actually got on that train and stayed on it and here I am. So it's not a particularly fascinating process and I know a lot of people have what they call portfolio careers these days. But basically I went to university, I studied for six years, I got the degree, I started working in architecture and I've been doing that ever since and I've been very, very happy doing that. The sorts of things that I was interested in possibly following up to study at university were history, architecture, um, archaeology, um, cultural things, possibly art. Uh, and I think I became really interested in architecture because I thought that that was actually a, an incredibly practical way of being involved in those sorts of endeavours that, uh, that actually produced something. One of the biggest thrills to me when I first started practicing architecture was going into a building, the, the three-dimensional thing, that started as a thought and an idea about something. You know, so it started as a creative process and it became a thing that you could actually inhabit. been in practice long enough to have been through a couple of recessions and we seem to be going into another one now and um, I know that um, you can survive those but uh, and again what carries you through that is your passion and your interest in the actual activities rather than it being necessarily a commercial activity. She went to the chicken farm. <laughs> George told us. The chicken farm. <laughs> well, no, so I guess it's my kind of interest in it and passion that has sustained me through a few kind of difficult patches and difficult patches in life, you know, where think, you know, I've had my own practice for a long time in parallel with having a family. So that requires a certain level of commitment and um, very hard work and being strategic about how you organise your life. I'm at the stage where I want to think about succession. I want to think about ways of um, cutting the apron strings a little bit in order to give me a little bit of kind of freedom. So I'm quite conscious of um, starting to look at changing the structure of my operation to allow other people to be in positions of direction.